Pokemon is the biggest media franchise in the world, and I wonder why. It's because of idiots like me. I cannot control myself nor my wallet, which is why, as you see in the background, I have many Pokemon plushes and items that have wasted so many numbers in my bank account. However, I'm not the only person who does this, and it's because Pokemon just makes too good of merch. It's unbelievable how much Pokemon merchandise there is in the world, and in this video, I'm going to be looking at your collections and rating them. First off, we've got Destined Weeb. Okay. Okay, I see a lot of sitting cuties. You've got the Reggie lot. Cut that one out. I've never seen this Evelta plush before. Same with, I want this Waylord. I have a big Pokemon plush in my background, like every video now. I want that Waylord. These are, is that Charizard? The Gigantamax Charizard is holding a Gizan, Gi, 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 Google Translate, say the word for me. Giganamax. That card. This is really nice. It looks like you've got some Funko Pops as well, so your collection's not completely Pokemon. This is really good. I'm giving this, this is a solid 9 out of 10. Well, I'm going to go 8.5 out of 10, just in case there's some crazy people in the next ones. Oh, this is a Mewtwo collection. See, this collection isn't as big. However, huge props for the wall mount of it. I just have Ikea shelves. This is nice. I don't think I have any of these Mewtwo's. I bought an expensive Mewtwo before. This thing right here, and it came in the mail completely destroyed. It's broken into so many pieces. So I just never opened it. This is where it comes to the line where I say you may have a problem. There's nothing wrong with having a favorite Pokemon. But if your favorite Pokemon's Pikachu, you better have the bank account to back it up because there are so many Pikachus here. That wasn't even the only photo. How many Pikachus are there? How did you find all of these? This is great. I love the more Pico kind of hiding in there too. There's an Alolan. This is good. I like this. This is 10 Pikachus out of 10 Pikachus. Oh, this guy sucks. No, uh-uh. This collection, L. Bad collection. I don't know who, who would collect Illimas. This is one of my editors. <laughs> oh, these are my shelves. Wait, why are you, you're showing me up right now. I don't know. Okay, hey, editor, blur their whole screen. This is the worst collection I've seen. Imagine color coding, putting your Pokemon in types, and even having more plushes in the bottom corner that you couldn't fit. No, worst collection I've ever seen. And it's not because I'm very jealous. <laughs> hey, Phil, can we color code my background, please? I just got showed up. This is a 9.5 out of 10. Well, the, hey, wait a minute. Is there a, that's a ditto. That is a ditto in the Pikachu spot. He's hiding and I caught him. Oh, this is a mixture of stuff. I see Zelda, Dragon Ball, <gasps> One Piece. This is crazy. I like the idea of the hammock. However, I would be terrified on a daily basis that this thing would collapse and I would just get attacked by a million Pokemon from above. What am I looking at? There is so many. That's an official copy of every guide. The games underneath it. This is so much. Is that a Pikachu N64? They make those? Oh, no. I'm not buying this. Hey, Phil, do we have $7,500? Uh, it's for something very important for the business. What do you mean very important? It, 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 listen, okay, hear me out. It's a Pikachu N64. He hung up. This is impressive. I kind of want to see what all these little mini figures are. I like collecting the really ugly, tiny Pokemon like knockoffs. One sec. I can. Look how squished this thing looks. This is a 9.5 out of 10, if I've ever seen one. What? There's more. There's more? Okay, wait a minute. How many of the big plushes do you have? Piplup, Arcanine, so this is a bigger collection than mine. Oh my God. Where is that Diglett from? And the Appleton and the Yamper. You have too much money. This is uh, the lighting. No, we're gonna have to square up. Before going into this, I'm like, oh, I've got a cool Pokemon collection. And then this shows up. Okay, we've got all the evolutions. There's Rayquaza, where's Regigigas? If you have a Regirock, I'm blocking you on Twitter. If there, I'm looking, look for the Regirock. If there's a Regirock, we block. There's a Regirock, we block. There's no Regirock, you're safe. <laughs> Wait, is that Snorlax wearing jammies? <laughs> this is good. I want that Bidoof. I think that's a shiny Bidoof, yeah. No, this is it. This is the shiny version, I think, of the Bidoof Comfy. I could be wrong, but I think that Bidoof is worth a lot of money. Oh my. Older picture, but here's my Jolteon collection, excluding the life-size plush. You have a life-size Jolteon plush on top of this? I gotta zoom. I didn't even realize they made this many Jolteons. I love the Eevee Jolteon. That's really cool. There's also, it looks like a little cosplay one too. This is so cool. Are those games? I can't tell what those are. The Jolteon tin. Oh! 
there's the old Jolteon in the little bouncy ball from the 90s. This is incredible. This is probably the best Jolteon collection I've ever seen. This is nice. Very small, but it's very personalized. This is... They don't make much Gengar stuff except for like this one. You know, remember when Pokemon made that Gengar? Yeah, I still have nightmares about that. Those look 3D printed. Did you make these yourselves? I like this a lot. Oh, this is a Magikarp card collection. Is that every single Magikarp ever? Oh, you have the Shining Magikarp? That's gold. That is a gold card. This one's signed. I haven't seen all of these Magikarps before. There's some of these. I've never seen this card right here. Or this one. Oh, that's a sleeve, I think. Or this one. That's also a sleeve. You've got three graded cards. It looks like those are a 10 and two nines. This is really cool. And I love how they're framed, too. I think the framing of them takes this up to a different level. Because if you were to just put these in an Elite Trainer box, you don't really get to show them off. But these are all framed so well. This is great. This this is a really cool collection. This is not a Pokemon collection. This is triceps on his toilet. Why did you give me that to look at? How about a score bunny collection? How do you have this many score bunnies when it just came out? Is that an Among Us score bunny? Imagine walking into school with the score bunny socks. <laughs> that score bunny is wearing baby Yoda pajamas. How did you find this many score bunnies? This is impressive solely for the fact that there should not be this many score bunnies in existence. But somehow here they are and they're on your back. Bed. Well done. That's, okay, why, why does he look like that? That is not Pikachu. That is Ikachu. <laughs> Here's my collection. That's my collection. Okay, all right. 10 out of 10. Our first 10 out of 10. Good job. Okay, okay. you sent this Pokemon collection, but the first thing my eyes go to is the Squidward. <laughs> I want a Squidward just like this in my bedroom. <laughs> I like the tins. The vanillish is really cute vanillite. And I love the Cyndaquil. I also didn't realize that they made this many Pokemon Funko Pops. Do they have every Pokemon? <gasps> oh, this is so cool. Listen, a 10 out of 10. Because you have your Pokemon collection wherever you go. Look how good that is. It looks like you're sitting in the chair and this might've just been done. I hope the colors retain on this because this tattoo is fantastic. I wanna get a sleeve of my own with Pokemon, but we'll see. The time has not come yet. I have way more, but I'm too lazy. So here's my Silsoon. That's a 10 out of 10. This is the best collection we've seen all day. Now, in order to make this video able to have ads on it, so that way I can afford Chex Mix in the morning, I I need this video to be eight minutes. So I'm gonna take the rest of this time to show you my collection. So we'll start off right here. This is my Cynthia, wait a minute. Oh, it was hiding. I've got a copy of Pokemon Platinum that I keep with Cynthia at all times. Right here are my Crystal Pikachu and Crystal Pokeball. These are the most disappointing things in my collection. Don't waste your money on this. These are so much cooler. Pokemon worked with the wand company to make functioning Pokeballs. You can't tell me that this is not the coolest thing you've ever seen in your entire... Piplup, what you doing? <laughs> I actually have two more. I just haven't set them up yet. Here we've got my little Buneeries and a super expensive booster box that may be opened pretty soon. Over here, I've got more of my Pokemon boxes. I'm trying to get one of every single thing. We've got Big Piplup holding a lightsaber because he is a Jedi. This one isn't. This is the If I Catch I Buy segment, Generation 1 and Generation 2. I want to get a copy of the game put up on front, and I wonder what's going to go in these slots. I've got two giant dittos. This one's wearing an apron that says subscribe for some reason. You can use these as chairs, but finally, my favorite ones are these three right here. These are probably the coolest Pokemon statues I could find on the internet, and I had to buy them. Don't look at that. Don't look at that. And I have my Pokemon Squishmallows, because anybody who does not have Pokemon Squishmallows is a noob. Oh yeah, I have a third one coming. Thank you for watching this video. If you think you have a cooler Pokemon collection, let me know by adding me on Twitter. And if you haven't already, buy my merch.